All right, first little update on the uh, 36 Ford pickup truck. I'm a huge fan of pinstriping, uh, but this doesn't fall into the 60s or the 50s. It's more like the 90s where you try to emphasize parts of the truck that you want to draw attention to. I'm going to take these off. I know I'm probably going to get some negative comments, but I've already done it on the front up here and it just makes a huge improvement and uh, it'll make the truck look more original with factory pinstriping so uh, i mean you can see the paints checked up on it the old lacquer paint job and stuff so i'm not really hurting it so anyway let me see what this looks like all right there it is off the fender see how much cleaner that looks it was just right here now it still has the brown pinstriping going around I'm not going to take that off. Somebody did a good job. I wish they had signed their pinstriping, signed their work, but they didn't. Let me see what I can make happen on the rest of this stuff. Improvement tip number 1472. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I've got the uh, fans and everything covered up in the back. And we're going to, uh, I've already primed it a little bit. I've already scuffed it. It's ready for paint. Uh, probably need to straighten out a few of these uh, teeth, but that'll come another day when I redo this truck if I ever do. But uh, what I'm gonna do is paint this grill uh, a chocolate brown. Uh, it's gonna match the pinstriping uh, that I'm leaving on the truck. Uh, I'm taking, taking some of the decorative pinstriping off. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some primer get some of the bare metal spots that I, uh, chips and stuff that I fixed, and then uh, we'll hit it with the brown paint. You know, this is kind of like the uh, patina work that I did on the motorcycle, the little board track bike. Uh, this old truck's got 40 year old paint on it. You really can't go wrong. Uh, I've got to go around the whole truck with a red scotch bright and uh, get off all the little rusty metal spots on it. Coming through the lacquer. So there is no really wrong. Of course, if this was a high end car, we do it totally different. Hey, we're having fun on this channel. We're not trying to build any Riddler cars. What an improvement. I've still got to go back with the brown, but I'm digging it. So, uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you've seen my paint shaker. Uh, anytime we're using spray paint on this channel, we gotta shake it. That'll do it. Primer's dry, so uh, let's put some brown on it. Well, guys, what do you think? I gotta get rid of the red horn. I've got to uh, cover up the electric fan wiring. But my goodness, chocolate brown grill instead of the uh, cream colored grill. And then we started removing the pinstriping on the side, on the bed stake pockets, on the rear fender on the rear bed, bed stake pocket and I've still got a ways to go but you can see this side how clean it looks nothing really taken away from your eye then we come around to this side 
and it still has the pinstriping on it. And now you can see why I'm taking it off. The pinstriping just wants to grab your eye. I appreciate pinstriping more than almost anybody, but sometimes it just don't go on what you want it to go on. And I'm still debating whether to take the pinstriping up here off or not. I'm going around the whole entire truck with a red scotch bright to remove a lot of the little rust specks all over the truck where it's coming through the lacquer paint. Lots of reasons that could be happening. Solvent pop, cracks in the lacquer. And you can see a lot of the lacquer cracks. And when I do that, I'm gonna super clean the paint, scuff it down, and uh, I'm gonna flat clear it. Those little specks are coming up everywhere. You see that inside there? But that's the plan. But anyway, uh, that's just a quick video of what's going on with the 36 Ford.